Hey, I'm Steve Harrod, CTO at VMware. Thanks for joining me for this video. Uh, we're incredibly excited about this new set of releases on vSphere and a number of other products that are going along with it. And uh, I've been here for a while. The amount of innovation going on in this release is outstanding. And uh, what I thought I'd do is walk you around campus a little bit and show you some of the people and some of the places where the work goes on. So let's go. I'm over here now in uh, one of the corners of our Palo Alto office. This is where the monitor team lives, and the monitor is responsible for the core virtual machine technology that's in all of our products. Uh, one thing very cool in vSphere 5 is these very large virtual machines, 32 vCPUs, a terabyte of virtual memory. These are bigger than most servers, and I like the, the teams call them monster VMs, which is very scary. Um, anyway, a lot of the work goes on here, a lot goes on in Cambridge and around our many offices, and uh, I think you're going to like that feature in particular a lot. So now I'm down here at one of the many labs that we have across the different VMware engineering campuses. Uh, inside here we have all kinds of storage arrays and servers and networking setups. And this is where we do a lot of testing on this release. Uh, we are really targeting this release at the most business critical applications. We do that through these very large and performant virtual machines. But absolutely the, the platform itself needs to be rock solid. And so can't tell you how many millions of hours worth of testing have gone into vSphere 5. Now I'm here at our cafeteria uh, in Palo Alto. Uh, I love this place, great food, and it's actually where a lot of engineers come together and meet. And we do tech talks here every Friday to inspire the next set of ideas. It's actually really sunny out right now as well, not a cloud in the sky. Ha! Um, but what I'm here to talk about is uh, one, of the, one of the engineering groups that's in this building is Site Recovery Manager, or SRM. Uh, they're actually largely based in the Cambridge, Massachusetts office, and another chunk of them are here right outside of the cafeteria. And what's great about it is that um, we're actually testing Site Recovery Manager by failing over between Cambridge and Palo Alto as one of the use cases. And uh, again, this product is really the, the result of a lot of hard work and a lot of innovation, but it's also key to supporting business critical applications. You want to know, even if your data center goes down, that those apps are going to keep running. And uh, this team's done a great job in, in this latest release. I'm in a different part of campus now. This is the, uh, the pond. We actually have a tradition here of throwing people into the pond right before they get married. I don't think you'll see that now, but uh, kind of a fun tradition. Um, one of the other big things that we're doing in this release is vShield. And one of the top problems people have with cloud computing is around trust and making sure they feel that their data and their applications are safe. And the vShield team's really done a great release here, um, extending the existing capabilities and also enabling something new called data protection to really make sure that when you're running your applications in a vSphere, vCloud Director, and vShield Cloud, things are trusted and ready to run. Yeah, so it's pretty amazing the number of people that we have now, more than 4,000 engineers working on all of our products, and uh, really an incredible group of people, hey, sup, Chewy, working on vSphere and vCloud Director, vShield, um, and really making sure that it's going to be a great release. I'm here on the last stop on this video. This is the soccer field. And uh, right over the soccer field is another building where some of the great innovation in this release has happened. Uh, we've really done two things out of this building and out of many other R&D offices around the world. The first is vCloud Director. Uh, vCloud Director is key to our, to our cloud story. It really lets a IT department offer IT as a service and give a very simple portal to their customers while really satisfying all of the, the hard needs behind the scenes. And uh, a lot of great stuff in this new release. Uh, one thing I particularly like is that it leverages linked clones now. And that's a way of using storage both more efficiently and also you can really provision those virtual machines more quickly than ever before. So that'll be a big addition. Um, another thing that's going on over here in this building is uh, called our vSphere Storage Appliance, or VSA. And this is also a very big deal for us. This is a way that you can build shared storage out of the local disks that are in a collection of servers. You literally put three servers together and it will aggregate those disks together and give you shared storage. Now why does this matter? We want the capabilities of VMware HA and FT and vMotion and all these capabilities to be easily accessible by even the smaller and medium-sized companies that are using our product. And uh, we think VSA is going to be a really simple and really inexpensive way for those, to, for those uh, capabilities to reach those customers. Um, so this completes a, a short tour of our campus and a, and a quick look at the many products that we're launching here today. I encourage you to watch all of the other uh, videos that are out and read the materials. It's truly a great release. And I've shown you here Palo Alto where we have a great engineering force, uh, but we're a truly global organization and people have been contributing literally um, around the clock from around the world. So thank you to all the engineers out there who have created these great products and I hope all the customers out there are really going to enjoy them.